<clears throat> these nuts. Hey there, hey there, and welcome. So today I thought I'd do an entire video from this position. I know this might be a little bit taxing on some of you guys to watch a grown man uh, on the floor, but I just wanted to give a little bit of a preview to what you would see if you were a female and uh, and on top of me. So that's that's the purpose of today's video. And honestly, I couldn't be fucked to make a video standing up. So I thought, why not? Why not change the monotony of my channel and actually do a video uh, in a different state? In this case, lying down, I could do I could do tricks. Look at this. Look at that. I can't do that when I'm standing up. I don't know why I'm out of breath. But today I'm going to show you guys my favorite trick. And this is a not car trick. This is a non-card trick, and some of you guys might be disappointed when I tell you what the actual trick is, rather. But uh, if you are disappointed, I just want to say from the start, uh, f fuck you, piss off, all right? I don't need to have you in my life, all right? And this is the sort of magic that you'll probably end up actually performing. Most of you guys end up wanting to learn these complicated multi-phase card tricks, these dumb, stupid coin tricks, but really the stuff you perform the most is uh, is meaningless stuff, little dribble, little stuff that you do with the stuff around you. And that's what uh, I'm going to show you guys today. So let's get into the intro. Hey there. Hey, I know you may be asking yourself what the trick is. Uh, hey, Piggy, what's the trick? The trick involves this, your dick. JK, if I grab that, I could actually stretch it and turn it into a pen. I could turn it into a pen. That's not the trick. Uh, the trick is actually something else. Uh, let's see if I could, uh... all right. Oh boy, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, this is the way in the 80s, the, the Cokies used to clear out their nasal passages uh, in Miami Beach. Here's what they would do. They would do this. Ah! ah, okay, and then they would be able to breathe. So that's a trick. That's the trick. It's my favorite trick to do, and that's uh, the pen pencil up nose. And today we're going to talk about all the subtleties that make this uh, something that's memorable and not just a stupid thing that you're going to dismiss just because you already know how to do it. Because let me tell you, ninety percent of the people that I've seen do this do it incorrectly. Fuck, I gotta zoom in. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right, so here's a zoomed in shot as to what's happening, and it's very important. I'm gonna look at the monitor. All right, again, please dismiss any notion that I don't really care about you, the viewer, uh, because I'm not making eye contact with you. I'm looking at the monitor to make sure you guys get the best uh, tutorial ever. And as a matter of fact, if you want the best tutorials ever, check out the Pig, Pig Cake, Pig Cake Magic Academy. $5 a month. Two videos a week going over card stuff, coin stuff. There's uh, over 600 videos already, including the piggybacker videos, which are a dollar a month. And those are two tutorials you don't get anywhere else. So total you get uh, four videos, four videos a week. Uh, if you do the mentalism, you get five videos a week. So there's a lot of bang for your buck there. Go ahead and check it out. So here's the, here's the genesis of this. Uh, you could do this with any object that is the same the entire way through. I've seen people do this with Sharpies and you look like a mentally ill virgin. You want to make sure that you're doing it with an object that is uniform, that has the same thing. It's it's the same color. It's one unit. If you're going to do this, do it with a black straw or a colored straw or a person of colored straw. Just make sure that it's the same color throughout. If there's swirls, if there's patterns, if there's writing, they're going to notice that the illusion doesn't work. And the illusion is just this. You see this? Look at my hand. You see this? I'm covering the bottom part of the pen with my right hand. The top part is being covered by maybe a finger, maybe two fingers at most. And here's the illusion. If I bring my right hand up, you see what that does? It looks like the pen is shrinking, but it's actually hiding behind my palm. You see that? But if I do that where my nose is, it looks like the pen is going in and out of my nose. The illusion doesn't work. If I reverse this, let me give you an example of what most of you do. All right. You do this with a Sharpie. Let's just use the, uh, the little lid here, the little flip, the little node, the nipple. If I do this right and do this, there's no illusion because you see that there's nothing moving because the thing hasn't moved. So if you're doing it with a Sharpie and you have all the writing on the Sharpie and you do this, 
oh, it's going in my nose. They see all the text that's not moving. The illusion is created by the fact that it looks like the actual thing is being shoved wherever it is that apparently you're shoving it into. And the, it doesn't work when there's fucking writing on it. All you gotta do is just cover the top with uh, two fingers, maybe one. And then uh, with your right hand, all you're gonna do, please don't actually shove uh, your right hand in your nose. You're moving the hand around the pen. See, this is what's happening behind the scenes. That's what's happening behind the scenes, all right? Uh, some of you guys, for example, my uh, my podcast partner, Daniel, he might actually shove the pen in his nose and forget the uh, little amount of information that he already knows. So don't be like Daniel, all right? Move the hand around the pen. Don't move the fucking pen in the nose because then you're actually gonna, I don't know, forget math and you don't wanna do that. So just use your fingertips here Move the hand and then make a make a, a sound like you are uh, inhaling it. So go, ah, ah, and then when you want, you could brush the nose and then that adds to the illusion. Uh, so that's the pen up nose. You could do this with a pencil. Just make sure that if you have like a branding on it, it's towards you. That's the most important part. If you want to do this, you could do this with one hand. I don't recommend it. But uh, what you do is that you put the the, the object, I don't, I don't want to do this with this pen. Usually I do it for wooden pencil or a straw. But what you could do is uh, you're going to press this against the bridge of your nose and you're going to move the hand up just like this. So you're moving the hand this way and the pen is hiding behind the hand. So it's being pressed against the bridge of your nose. I'm going to do this on the outside of my nose just to give you, I have a sensitive nose. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the outside just to kind of show you what I mean. You're going to do that. And it's going to look like it's going inside your nose with one hand. And of course, to pull it out from this position, you can make it look like it's coming out of your mouth by bringing the tip of the pen to your mouth between your teeth and moving your hand down. So it looks like the pen is coming out of your mouth. So if you combine those two, it looks like the pen is actually uh, being inserted in your nose and being pulled out the mouth. Um, so that's what it looks like. Uh, but you want to do that with like a straw or not like a, something that has a little conical tip like this pen. You want to do it with a, a pencil or a straw. Uh, so that's the, the way you would do that with one hand. But it's a very convincing illusion. And I really detest people that dismiss tricks like this because this is the shit they're going to remember. Not the stupid 20 phase, dumb, ambitious card routine that I see uh, scrolling around Facebook magicians only group where it's like, guys, uh, I really want to convey to the audience that I'm a really skilled technician, a cardition, if you would. Uh, what tricks could I convey that to an audience the best? Thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, you're you're a fucking bitch. All right do this and they're gonna remember this so stop avoiding the simple shit uh, You don't know how many people avoid this trick, you know where you're, you're oh, I'm gonna make the thing disappear and then you put this in the back of your shit like that is great It's easy to do uh, a lot of people ask what do I do because I have the shakes I'm nervous when people ask me to do tricks do shit like this do shit like this. You can't possibly mess it up. Uh, and uh, there, there's, it's funny. It's funny. So that's my rant. That's the pen up nose. Um, it's a fun thing. Look around whenever you go to a restaurant and see what you could do it with. Chopsticks work great. Um, if A cigarette, phenomenal. So uh, if, if you want to impress the ladies, do that. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, you wide bitch, you wide bitch, you stupid wide bitch. Oh shit, okay. So that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for uh, doing all the things you do when it comes to videos. I almost caught myself looking at the monitor and not having a connection with you guys, which is the most important part. And I hope you guys appreciate the length that I go th to make these videos for you guys. Right now, this is a tripod and there's a uh, there's a leg pressed against my, my ball sack. So that's the... Um, that's the sacrifice that I make for you guys. That was my ball sack that actually moved the uh, the camera. So thank you guys. I'm going to go figure out different ways to shrink. I'll do that.
little pussy, little pussy.